Hi right there guys, welcome to issue 54, Warhammer 40k Conquest. So, what have we got today, or who have we got today? So we get Typhus, Herald of Nurgle. He's on two small sprues and we'll make him up in a minute and take a look. Let's have a look through the issue first. So in this issue, the Death Guard count many disgusting and powerful lords amongst their ranks. None inspire the same amount of fear as Typhus, the Lord of the First Plague Company. In this issue, we delve into the history of this mighty warrior and his mighty warship, the Terminus Est. As usual, we provide a detailed paint guide for you to follow. Typhus may well be the most powerful unit in the Death Guard army. You'll have him leading your forces across the tabletop in no time. Happy hobbying. Okay, so what have we got? Some info on Typhus. Some info on his warship, the Terminus Est. Chronicles of Blood Part 2, Space Marine Chapters 4.2, How to Build Typhus, How to Paint Him, Rules Mission 38, The Destroyer Cometh, and then his data sheet. So let's get into it. Typhus is the Lord of Mortarion's first company and host of the Destroyer Hive. At the helm of his ancient warship, the Terminus Est, he spreads plague and misery across the galaxy, slaying millions in the name of Nurgle and his Primarch. Bit of a bastard then. Okay, here's a good quote from Typhus. Two choices are open to you, accept Nurgle's blessings or die in misery. And his weapon is called the Man Reaper. That sounds a bit harsh. The Terminus Est, and that ship looks pretty grim. Terminus Est may well be the most powerful warship in the plague fleets of the Death Guard. It is a colossal abomination, thick with plague, rust and decay. Yet it is capable of unleashing apocalyptic destruction against enemy fleets, space stations and planets alike. And lots of information about that. Uh, then we've got Space Marine Chapter 4.2, Chronicles of Blood. With their Primarch fallen and their Gene Seed cursed, the Blood Angels direct their fury towards the enemies of the Imperium. Alongside their new, newly founded successor chapters, they respond to calls for help from across the galaxy spilling the blood of a thousand different enemies. And then it's got a bit of their timeline from Millennium 31 through to Millennium 40. Okay, then we've got how to build Typhus. Uh, quite a big guide actually for building him. Quite complicated, I suppose. There are um, 15, I think, 15 pieces on the sprues, which is as many as I've seen for one model before, um, for, from at least from Conquest. Then we've got our paint guide, which is quite um, in depth. So we'll get them to a good standard with the paints we've got already. Right, then we've got Rules Mission 38, the Destroyer Cometh. Poxwalkers rise in their hundreds, their twisted forms pushing rubble and ruin aside as they lurch forwards with ever greater strength and hunger. The Herald of Nurgle has arrived. Typhus, in all his terrible glory, marches on Kalon. His Man Reaper thirsts for the blood of the hated Ultramarines. Wow. Right, okay. So what have we got? Battle-wise. Typhus must be stopped before his rampage brings ruin to what remains of the second company's defence of Kalon. To this end, a small, number, a small unit of space marines have breached the Death Guard's lines, intending to take on Typhus and his hordes of poxwalkers. So, we have got the deployment. The deployment zones are shown on the battle mat. Typhus and the tainted cohort may not deploy using the teleport strike ability in this mission. So, corner to corner on the double map. And the armies are Typhus, the Tainted Cohort, seven Plague Marines, the Chaos Rhino, and 12 Poxwalkers, up against the Captain in Gravis armor, five Reavers, five Space Wing Scouts, two Inceptors, the Librarian, and three Aggressors. That is quite a, that's quite a big, there's some really heavy hitters in there. So you've got Typhus, you've got the Tainted Cohort, there are no mugs. There you've got the Rhino. You've got a captain for the Space Marines. 
You've got a couple of incestors, incestors, three aggressors and the librarian. So it'll be good battle. So Death Guard deploys their units first in there. Space Marine units then deploy there. Space Marine player takes the first turn. Victory conditions. The Space Marine player is victorious if Typhus is eliminated. Death Guard player is victorious if Typhus survives the battle. The game lasts for five battle rounds. Now I'm... I don't always enjoy this type of battle uh, where you've got to eliminate one one enemy, especially if it's quite a tough one like Typhus, and especially when he's got you know, some decent forces on there as well. You see, I, I tend to think, and I know it's down to the Space Marines to do something about it, but I think that the odds are always stacked in the favour of the defending units. Anyway, so then we've got Typhus's data sheets, um, movement of four inches, weapon skill two up, this is still two up, so that's good. <laughs> Saves on a two up as well. Leadership of nine, yeah, very good. Let's have a look to see what his Man Reaper does. Damage three. Wow. Armor Pierce minus three, damage three. That's tough. He's got a Destroy Hive pistol, which does one damage like grenades as well right okay so that's what we've got for this week let's have a look to see what we've got in the next couple of weeks so next week we've got Mechanica Se uh, Sector so we've got Alchemite Pipes that's nice and then the following week we've got Space Marine Reinforcements one two three four five six seven eight models that's that's awesome that's a really good issue issue 56 uh, so we look forward to that definitely right let's make up typhus and then take a look okay so there's typhus in all his glory he's a beast as well he's really cool really cool unit um so all of this on his Back, if you can't see those properly, those are um, the pox flies, is it? But he's got like a big carpet of them all over his back. But yeah, an excellent miniature, really, really good, and a really good issue as well. So it's a very good issue this week. So that was issue 54. I'll see you next week. Alchemite Pipes. I'll see you on Wednesday. Ta-da!